Hello, fall YouTubers. It's Land 73 coming back at you. So today's video is just going to be on about my tips and tricks to rebuild a Tilson HD carburetor. This HD is off a, a TNT 440 fan. So first of all, you can strip it all down right to this. And then there's two Welsh plugs, one here, one here. And what I do is I take a center punch, I put it right in the middle of the Welsh plug and just gently tap it and keep tapping it down because they'll eventually just come right out. You just flip the carburetor over and it'll come right out. Just be careful with this one because there's a little bl brass thing underneath of it. So you do those and then just use a flat punch and flat, uh, just put them in, hit them a couple times, make them flat, flush to the carburetor. And then you should be good to go and make sure you clean. There's a bunch of little ports and everything underneath it. And this one's just the high speed. And this one is the low speed. The next thing I checked is for knee uh, needle movement so let's check this one see how there's a lot of play in that before it moves up a lot of play so I'd replace that and if you want you can take out your needle and I just look at the rubber tip because they're rubber or some type of rubber and see if it's starting to crack or missing half of it if it is replace it because then it won't run right it'll be flooded every time and so on and so off so First of all, I usually I clean it with carb cleaner, brake cleaner, and then I run about a 400 grit sandpaper around the bottom here just to clean it up. And then the tilts and HGs they only go one way. So first of all, you want to take your gasket, your base gasket like that, your diaphragm, and your diaphragm only goes one way. This little tab sits down on the needle like this. Like that, line up all the dots. That one's broken right there, but. And then you want to take your next plate, which is going to be this one. And this 440 has this, uh, you know, thing that comes off the crankcase. And that lines up. Yeah, again, it only goes one way. So you got to figure it out. Anywho, and then you want to take your next one, which is this gasket, put it down like that, and then your next one is going to be this one, which is a diaphragm. You want to put it the same way, you only go one way, and then, then you take this one, and you line it up again, and then this one, you take a gasket like this, and it goes on like that and then this gasket goes on like that just like that and then the last thing is just your bottom piece and you want to put that on and then I recommend replacing the fuel filters but the trick is with them if you take them where the gas line hooks up and you can, if you can blow through them with no effort or struggle and then it's good and then you can put it back on but as I find running these old sleds these fuel filters come loose event like over time so I just make sure they're always tight because then they'll start leaking gas and then you'll lose uh, you lose the gas down you'll see the gas line af after uh, you know you stop using you'll see it run back to the tank and everything and then when I screw this down I put all the screws in and I crisscross so it'll be like this one that one this one that one and this one and that one and I make sure they're tight not too tight you don't want to snap the screw or strip it out just tight enough that it won't come out so yeah Okay, so that's my tricks and tips to rebuild an HD carburetor, Tiltson.